and let me show you that what is this include and exclude so that you'll have a clear picture. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Now look at this guys. So let's say I have some variables like the category. Okay. Let's say segments and some measurable values. Fine. Now, if you observe clearly here, how I can apply the subfilter, I mean to say quick filter, simple select, right click, show quick filter, isn't it? See, once you define the show quick filter, now on top of this, whatever the filters, as I mentioned, seven types of quick filters, right? Like single value, single value drop down, single value slider, wild card, etc, etc. See, these are all the stuff that you have here, okay? Wild card in the sense where you can search for the specific value, okay? In a segment level, do you have any specific value, let's say, see, consumer, which is starting with COF, consumer, look at this, okay? So this is the way. That's what we have seen, right? Now, similarly, we have also a future which is respected to the, these different different values. Each and every value is having their own advantages, isn't it? Now look at this. Right. So on top of this. Now, what is this include values? Say so include values in the sense, at this moment, the segment you are dealing with the home office. And the category you have furniture and technology. Now look at this. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to deal with exclude, which means whatever the values, which means the home office will be excluded, whatever you are selecting here, and the rest of values will be highlighted. Now look at this. So where is the home office at a segment level? No, you do not have it. Now, again, the same. If I include it, the specific values will come to you. Okay, so that is the beauty of it. Now the same way, see, if I exclude, right, what will happen? The furniture and technology will be excluded. Now look at this. Exclude. You only have a consumer segment. That's it. Okay. So in this way also you can play around with the exclude and include values also. Okay. That is one thing. So that is what about include and exclude. What is that? Include and exclude. Look at this. For example. Let's say I have country. Fine. And then I have state. And then I have regions. Fine. We can do a state. Look at this. State, region. Now, look at this. On a state wise, now what am I going to do? State, I'm going to apply a filter. Let's say, let me put it this way. I'm going to apply, what is that? Quick filter. Fine. Now, region also I'm going to fit a quick filter. See. Okay. Fine. Now, let me put it this way, guys. Now, when I select Alabama, what is happening? Except that particular value. So look at this. The rest of values is coming in picture, isn't it? Isn't it, guys? Now look at this. Now, when I select a central, see, it has to show me all the central related states. Okay. Now at this moment, if you observe clearly, see, what is happening, guys? You have all values. Okay. You have what? all values in a database level, which means whatever the values we have in a data source level, it is going to be reflected. Now what is the case, you know, based upon the selection criteria of my parent filter, the child filter is supposed to retrieve only those specific values. So getting me? When I choose East, it has to show me all the Eastern uh, related states. Okay, that is what. Now, if that is the case, what are we going to do? Now look at this. At this moment, you have what? All the values in a database. 
because in a cascading filter level you have what only relevant values as well as you have all values in a database level okay all values as well as the relevant values now look at this now in for this state now look at this what am i going to do you know i'm going to choose as only relevant values okay now look at this see when i choose central see it is going to show me only the central uh, related states okay now look at this when i going to choose east it has to show me the corresponding states of the east region you're getting my point guys look at this so what is happening here only the relevant values are coming in picture not all the values now look at this so only southern region states that is like virginia mississippi something like that. okay so georgia florida something like that. now when i choose west california right this is all the stuff which means what are you trying to see here based upon the filter criteria at my parent filter level the child filter is showing all the relevant values so only the relevant values not all the values from the data source now the like this all values from the data source what will happen now look at this. see every value will be chosen according to the okay see all the values see when i choose east see except to east you will see central south and west so something like that so when you choose something like you know only the relevant values so what will happen based upon the selection criteria of your parent filter only the corresponding values has to be appear in a filter level this is what cascading filters this is what we used to call it as cascading filters right guys